रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी बिटवीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट आर ऑप्टेन बाई सब्ट्रैक्टिंग वेलोसिटी ऑफ वन ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम वेलोसिटी ऑफ अदर ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए एंड बी आर मूविंग इन अ सेम स्ट्रेट लाइन इन सेम डायरेक्शन विथ सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर देन वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बी इज इक्वल टू वी ए माइनस वी बी यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट वी बी फ्रॉम वी ए एंड यू विल गेट सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी दैट इज ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए so if you want velocity of b with respect to a which is just opposite its direction magnitude will be same but direction will be just opposite so this is 20 km per hour so it will also for 20 km per hour but in the direction opposite to the direction of vab now these two are vector quantities so remember that you have to subtract vectorly now take an another example where velocity of a is towards this direction and velocity of b is towards this direction so if you want to determine relative velocity between the, these two then you have to subtract these two velocity for that what you have to do is first draw one velo one vector or one velocity i have drawn this va first and from the same start point this is the start point of va this is the end point of va from the same start point draw another vector the uh, another one b and draw this second vector so you have drawn this vb now join these two end points that will be your relative velocity so i have drawn this so this is the relative velocity now what is this re relative velocity this is vab that is velocity of a with respect to b so it depends upon only this uh, arrow head if arrow head is pointing towards va then it is va minus vb and if this arrow head is pointing towards b then it will be vb minus va the same vector the same magnitude but direction is just opposite here you can see this is just opposite here arrow head is towards b so this is vba which is equal to minus vab vb minus va now sometimes we come across resultant velocity so or resultant vector how can we determine resultant of these two vectors or two velocities this is one vector this is another vector to determine resultant of these two vectors you have to draw vectors first one vector in the same direction and same same magnitude with some scale and from the end point of this vector previously we have drawn from the same start point but now we have to draw from the end point of one vector so from the end point of a i will draw this b vector so draw this b vector which is from the end end point of first vector now join first point start point of a to the end point of b that will be the resultant vector so this is my resultant vector which is joining start point of first vector to the end point of second vector so this is the a plus b so this is your a plus b now here i have drawn a first and then b but you can draw b first and then a for example here i have drawn b first and then a so from the end point of b, b i have drawn a now join start point of b to end point of a you will get resultant vector same resultant vector a plus b which is towards this direction here i am taking an example where resultant velocity need to be calculated a man can swim with a speed of 4 km per hour in still water how long does he take to cross the river 1 km wide if the river flows steadily at 3 km per hour and he makes his strokes normal to the river current now a man can swim with 4 km per hour and he is trying to swim in perpendicular direction from he is starting from a and trying to reach at b but because of velocity of river he cannot reach b he will reach somewhere here that point we have to calculate where he, he will be reaching and this can be calculated by calculating the resultant velocity of these two that is velocity of man and velocity of river now we know how to determine resultant velocity we draw first vector this is 4 km per hour and from the end of the first vector we draw another vector second vector so this is velocity of river now join initial point of first vector to the last point of second vector this will be the resultant so this is my resultant you can see this is my resultant v now this v can be calculated from this right angle triangle you can see that this is a right angle triangle you can apply pythagoras theorem that is root over 4 square plus 3 square will be my v man is trying to swim from a to b but he will move in this direction only that is resultant velocity direction and he will uh, reach to some point c along this direction somewhere here now this distance bc or ac can be calculated from these two triangles this is one triangle 
and this one is another triangle. So these are two similar triangles. From these two triangles, you can calculate these distances. So this BC divided by AB is equal to this distance is 3 divided by 4. So 3 divided by 4. For this smaller triangle, this one is 3, this one is 4. For here, BC and AB. Now AB is known. So BC can be calculated 3 by 4 kilometer. Now from this you can calculate AC also. So AC will be again Pythagoras theorem you can apply root over 1 square that is root over AB square plus BC square that is root over 1 square plus 3 by 4 square. In that way you will calculate AC. V already you have calculated. Now once you get this velocity V and this distance AC both. So you can also calculate the time required to reach from A to C that also you can calculate. So whatever is required, you can calculate using this re resultant velocity concept. Now another example I am taking here where you require to determine difference of two velocities. Here a boatman can row with a speed of 10 km per hour in still water. He can row in with 10 km per hour in still water. If the river flows steadily at 5 km per hour, river is flowing with steadily with 5 km per hour, in which direction should the boatman row to reach a point on the other bank directly opposite to the point from where he started? Now we re require a velocity, now final velocity V such way, in such a way that if he starts from A, he should reach B just opposite corner of the other bank. So in that way, this V is the final velocity or resultant velocity. So we know that V is equal to VB plus VR. So if you want VB, the direction of VB, direct, uh, direction of uh, boat uh, in which it is rowing, uh, VB can be calculated using VB minus, VB is equal to V minus VR. So here you have to subtract, that is relative velocity between these two, we have to determine. Now this can be determined by first drawing one velocity VR, just draw this velo velocity VR using some scale. So I am using some scale and with that scale I have drawn this 5 km per hour. You can draw this as 5 cm by taking scale of 1 km per hour is equal to 1 cm in that way or any scale you can take and draw one velocity 5 km per hour. Now you can draw final velocity this V which should be drawn from the start point of uh, this uh, river velocity only. Uh, from start point, I have drawn this V, so draw this V, but uh, you don't know magnitude of this V, so I have drawn just any length V, and uh, after that, now this VB, now joining this point with this end point of V, we will get this 10 km per hour, so what you have to do is, from this point, draw uh, an arc of length 10 km per hour, whatever scale you have used, using that scale, you have to take 10 km per hour, and take center of this, uh, the center of arc as this, and draw an arc, so I have drawn this arc, so this is the, my final velocity, final point of the V, that, that's, in this way, we have uh, obtained this final velocity V, I have reduced this, so this is my final velocity, now join these two, you will get VB, so this is my VB, so V minus VR, so this, Velocity is representing V minus VR. So I have written here VB is equal to V minus VR, 10 km per hour which is given. Now what you require is, you require direction of this velocity. So this direction you can obtain, this angle is theta. From this right angle triangle, this is hypotenuse, this is adjacent. So cos theta is equal to 5 divided by 10. From that theta you can calculate as 60 degree. So you can see that if both uh, row in this direction at 60 degree from this horizontal, then only uh, that board will reach to B. Thank you for watching this video.